Right now, there are American troops serving in harm's way and standing sentry around the world. They're veterans who've served honorably in times of war and peace, and often came home bearing the invisible and visible wounds of war. They may not speak the loudest about their patriotism. They let their actions do that. And the right time to think of these men and women and thank them for their service and sacrifice is every day of the year. Memorial Day, which we'll observe Monday, is different. It's the day we remember those who never made it home, those who never had the chance to take off the uniform and be honored as a veteran. It's the day we stop to reflect with gratitude on the sacrifice of generations who made us more prosperous and free, and to think of the loved ones they left behind. Remembering them, so many of our fellow Americans are doing this weekend. Remembering. Remembering the soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardmen who died in our defense. Remembering those who remain missing. Remembering that they were our fellow citizens and churchgoers, classmates and children, and more often than not, the best of us. So this Memorial Weekend, I hope you'll join me in acts of remembrance. Lay a flower or plant a flag at a fallen hero's final resting place. Today, we are here to observe Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a special type of holiday where we remember and share with others the true meaning of Memorial Day. It is a day for us to recognize, remember, and honor the men and women who have lost their lives while serving in the United States military. If we have all serving in the Army, the Marines, Navy, Air Force, our Coast Guard, please come forward when you hear your branch of service hymn. 